Now let us see the next question of today's paper question number 67 which of the following pairs of ions is isoelectronic and isostructural. Isoelectronic it means same number of electron and isostructural it means same hybridization. Now let us apply this concept to the first option. Here the carbonate ion hybrid state sp2 nitrate ion hybrid state sp2. So, both the ions are isostructural. If we count the total number of electron that is coming same in both the ions. Now, second case is chlorate ion. In chlorate ion hybrid state of chlorine is sp3 while in carbonate ion hybrid state is sp2. So, these two compounds cannot be isostructural. Third case this is sulphide ion. In sulphide ion hybrid state is sp3 while in case of nitrate ion hybrid state is sp2. So, these two ions cannot be isostructural. In fourth option ClO3 negative is given hybrid state sp3, SO3 2 negative again hybrid state is sp3. So, these two options are isostructural as well as isoelectronic. It means in the given question two options are correct question option 1 and option 4. So, answer of this question is option 1 as well as option 4. Moving to the next question of paper question number 68. In context with beryllium which one of the following statements is incorrect? The first one is it is rendered passive by nitric acid that is true the reactivity of beryllium is very less. So, it becomes passive towards nitric acid. The second option is it forms beryllium carbide that is correct beryllium reacts with carbon it forms beryllium carbide. Third option is it salts rarely hydrolyze this statement is incorrect statement because salt of beryllium readily hydrolyze for example, if this beryllium chloride is kept in air, it will absorb water from air and reacts with moisture forming beryllium hydroxide and HCl. This hydrogen chloride gas fumes in air. So, this statement is incorrect. The fourth one is its hydride is electron deficient and polymeric that is correct statement. So, correct answer of this question is third option. 